This is News 10 at 5. Well, they lost everything except the clothes on their back. Like, this sometimes happens in a fire like this and somebody has to rush out the house. Tonight, three people who live in Lansing have been left homeless with just two days until Thanksgiving. The fire broke out at their apartment complex on North Capitol Avenue around 8 o'clock this morning. Good evening, I'm Ann Emrak. And I'm David Andrews. Nobody was injured in the fire, but people living there say the damage is extensive. News 10's Aaron Bowling is live on the scene with more on that destruction. Aaron. Anna and David, residents of this apartment complex say it's been red tagged, meaning it's been deemed unlivable by officials. Although they say they lost nearly everything, they're also just happy no one was injured, as one of the three residents uses a walker and another a wheelchair. Well, it's kind of amazing because my, my cousin needs a walker to walk, and without it, he made it to the back door to try to get the neighbor um, out. Assisting one another to escape the flames. The three residents of this apartment complex made it out unharmed. Left behind, however, was hundreds of dollars worth of medicine, personal belongings, and memories. The house was destroyed, you know, not just a small fire. So as of right now, they just had the clothes on their back. Being supported by the Red Cross, they say any help from the community is greatly appreciated. The city of Lansing's fire marshal says they're confident it was caused by an accident that started in a bedroom. We do know that one of the residents saw some smoke, heard some crackling, and went and informed the other occupied apartment. Still looking for an indoor outdoor cat, they say the experience was shocking and traumatizing. The house has been red tagged, it's been destroyed. Um, they have nothing, nowhere to live, no clothes. We know the holiday is coming up. Although the apartment was red tagged, residents were able to go inside today and salvage what was left. If you'd like to donate to the affected families, we have that information on WILX.com. Live in Lansing, Aaron Bowling, News 10. A live look outside.